Today's episode is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash hadoukendet. They have over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. They have really good books like The Girl on the Train, The Hobbit, Divergent, Lean In, The Book Thief, Crush It, Why Now is the Time to Cash In on Your Passion. That's by one of my favorites, Gary Vaynerchuk. So it's all good. If you're driving to D.C., you got a long commute to Pax River base, uh, you're jogging or running or exercising, whatever. If you just don't have time to read a book, then get the next best thing, an uh, audiobook. So check it out, audibletrial.com slash debt. I like that idea. Um... I could probably do a no a zero telephone day on a weekend, mm-hmm. maybe once a month. <laughs> like like just not look at your phone at all yeah. and just turn it off. Yeah, jeez. I should. I'm gonna do that this weekend, this Saturday, because we're we're having our 10 year anniversary trip. We're going to Harrisonburg, Virginia, going to the mountains in a cabin, mm-hmm. and my first, you know. Yeah. All of us do it. It's like, I'm going to take pictures so I can remember all this. Yep. And, you know. I think camping's the easy one. Um, when I was going camping last summer with the kids, I didn't use the phone because there was no reception. Right. But I did pull it out for pictures, and I caught myself wanting a true camera again yeah. so that I could just leave the phone in the car right. the entire time and just use the camera. Right. Now that I have the GoPro, I could probably do that a lot easier. Mm-hmm. But... Camping's the easy one. I think the the reason that resolution would fail so much is if I don't do anything to fill the time that sitting on my couch looking at the phone takes. Yeah. Then I'm just going to sit on my couch and watch more TV, or I'm going to sit on my couch and, you know, maybe read a book, which wouldn't be a horrible thing, but if I read a book all day, yeah. it could be. But we just don't do anything to fill our time yeah. with something better. Yeah. And so we miss that thing that at least has it lets us fidget mm-hmm. so the uh the th- what i thought about focus was also it gets us to live in the moment mm-hmm. because i'm so usually focused on the future like someday. having someday having money mm-hmm. and when i'm taking pictures of the kids or something you know, people do that because they're like, "Oh, well, I don't want this time, this moment to pass because I want to, I want to take this picture so I can look at it later." Mm-hmm. But who, who really looks at it later? Nobody. And when you do look at it later, you don't have the same feeling that you would if you just enjoyed that thing at the time. Yeah, you know I th- what I mean. I think the picture only matters if you enjoyed the experience at the time. Yeah. So it, I mean, this is, you hear this all the time at concerts, like they're like, put down your phone and watch the show. Yeah. That's what you're here for. You, if you wanted to watch this on your phone, you could go to YouTube and see our uh, concert yeah, on your phone. You didn't have to pay money to do this. But it's like when you're looking at vacation pics that somebody else has taken, it's like, this is the most boring thing <laughs> yeah. in the world. It's like, wow, the Grand Canyon, that looks exciting. Uh-huh. But for them, if they actually enjoyed the experience then it means something to Mm -hmm. them. You know, those are reminders of a certain moment in time for that experience. But if they're spending the entire time so focused on taking the pictures that they don't actually put down the camera and look at the Grand Canyon, then the picture is going to mean nothing to them in the end. Yeah. So. Yeah, so focus just helps you live in the moment. Yeah. You know, which I'm trying to do more of. Mm -hmm. Without, I mean, without forsaking the future, but just enjoying the moment and being present cool yeah anything else um um yeah well i was trying to work this in when i watched Mm -hmm. that jim carrey speech that he gave Mm -hmm. he was saying how just to focus on something that you really want to do in life because he talked about his dad and his dad I think he said his dad wanted to be a comedian too but he took the safer route yeah and took a 
job at a bank. I don't know, a bank. Mm -hmm. But he got laid off. So then Jim Carrey was like, yeah, you can focus on something but that you don't want to do and you can still fail at it. So you might as well just focus on something and on something you really want to do, mm -hmm. you know? I was listening to another podcast by friends of mine. It's the Thrival podcast, which mm -hmm. is for CPAs. And they were talking about a book called The Happiness Advantage. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and the idea in The Happiness Advantage is most people think that if I'm successful, then I'll be happy. Hmm. But The Happiness Advantage is no, choose to be happy and you will this find that you're successful in that. Right. Or you will find that you end up being successful. Right. And it's kind of that same idea. It's like, I'm going to wake up every day fearing that my boss is going to fire me anyways. So I might as well have the prospect of going to a job that I enjoy in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's like if you hate your job and you wake up every day that your boss would f would fire you, that could actually end up being the best thing for you in the world. Mm -hmm. So why are you so afraid of yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, he talked about fear in that speech. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I think we need to talk about that one on a yeah. future episode. I'll make a note. It's a good one. Yeah. So, I think um, one of the f effective things for me to do, if I'm going to do a zero telephone day, or if I'm going to cut down on the number of hours that I spend on it in a day, the app could help just to see how I'm spending my time. Like, in my mind, I'm spending my time on my phone all day on things that make me money. Yeah. Because I'm on my phone more than I'm ever on any computer. Right. So, I do all my email replies from here, all my blogging, um most checking in on accounts and stuff like that can be done from my phone mm -hmm. nowadays. Um, Do you type your blogs out on your phone? Yep. Really? Yeah, because it has a swipe keyboard, and oh, that's okay. pretty much how I am able to type so much faster than anything else. Okay. <clears throat> so I can't do that. <laughs> that would be scary to see that because I'm I, in my mind. I keep telling myself, "Oh, you use it mostly for business or things that make you money, anyways." Yeah. <laughs> but if it turns out it's like one hour out of ten each yeah, day yeah. is spent on that. But then also just making a list of the things that I'm giving up in order to spend more time on my phone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, ask myself, is binge watching through this series that you're not even really enjoying all that much anymore worth the potential of building a tree fort with your kids? Right. Or, yeah. you know, writing five blog posts for your blog or something like right. that. Right. So... And then once I can see what I could rather be doing, it's easier to make that decision. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, if I just turn it off, then I just go waste my time doing something else. And opportunity costs only really work if what you're giving up is less valuable than what you do instead. Right. So, so I think that could work. Yeah. It's kind of like when you're camping. Giving up a phone isn't hard when you've got camping to do yeah you got stuff to do make a fire hike go swimming in a lake yeah um hang out with your kids around a campfire uh -huh. so yeah the other day chloe she um she's they've been making water balloons and dressing them up and carrying them around like babies mm -hmm. even caleb whatever mm -hmm. but um the other night it was just i was with them by myself because janie was doing something and Usually, the time she was doing, she was supposed to be on her Kindle because she gets Kindle time at night before bed, but she wasn't doing that. She was, like, getting this box, taping it with, like, sequin duct tape and just being really creative, and time was flying by for her, and she mm -hmm. was just in a good mood, you know? She was just, you know, just using her energy, you know? So, I don't know why I got into that. Or just, the, I guess the camping thing made me think mm -hmm. of that. Just, you know, getting off the Kindle or iPad and just mm -hmm. doing something. And she probably didn't even think about, I'm wasting all of this time no. that I could be on electronics right now. No. So. So that was a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's when we're bored that we're like, eh, I need, I need to be stimulated. So give right. me my phone or right. my Kindle. So. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Let's get into our nerd section. All right. We just watched this movie. Yeah. Young Frankenstein. 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 
I didn't think I'd like it. Yeah. Um, I knew it was like a comedy, but I'd never really been into Mel Brooks. What? I saw Spaceballs. It was a long time ago. Oh my gosh. But I liked it. It was my kind of humor, mm-hmm. like not over the top, but it's just those like play on words or the diff. Like you say one thing, but it really means something else. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like he was knocking that big door knock thing, <laughs> and she was like, Il- "What was it?" Uh, Il- Inga. Inga was like, or. Er- Frederick was holding Inga. I was helping her out of the carriage. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, whoa, those are big knockers. <laughs> and she was like, whoa. Thank He's you. like, no. The, the, <laughs> the door knocker. <laughs> yep. Stuff like that mm-hmm. makes me chuckle. So we wanted to do a movie for Gene Wilder, mm-hmm. who passed away a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And we cho- I, cho- I recommended this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Charlie and... Or, I don't like Willy Wonka, for yeah, one. I, uh, yeah. Um, and then I did not think that it would be appropriate to do Blazing Saddles. <laughs> um, I had a discussion with the uh, librarian. Did, did you watch Blazing Saddles? Not yet. Okay. But when I, I got them, and she was like, I love Blazing Saddles. I was mm-hmm. like, yeah. I heard it was kind of like you couldn't make that movie today, mm-hmm. you know. She's like, well, the principles are the same, so, you know. I was like, okay. There's no I, principles I, in I, it. I mean, it's just a bunch of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the underlying... Yeah, you could have a plot that's oh. similar to Blazing Saddles, <laughs> but I would miss all of the jokes. Yeah. So so uh, I recommended this one. Uh-huh. There are other movies that Gene Wilder has done. I didn't realize this, but I was looking on IMDb, and The Producers, which is another Mel Brooks movie, was actually his first that he was a star in. His first starring role. He'd done mm-hmm. one cameo before that. Um, and he ended up being nominated for an Oscar wow. for the producers. Which, That's and awesome. that went on to become a Broadway play and then was redone. The Broadway version was redone with Matthew Broderick and Nathan Lane. Wow. Um, which is actually the version I prefer, uh, the Broadway version. Really? A lot more singing. Uh, it's funny. It's got um, Will Ferrell in it. And <laughs> um, uh, is it Uma Thurman? that plays the the girl in it but it's hilarious so okay. yeah the producers i highly recommend that one but not starring gene wilder right so i feel kind of bad because we only watch these movies because gene wilder died mm-hmm. you know how it's like uh there there's that meme of uh gene wilder oh, yeah. as uh willy wonka he's mm-hmm. like oh you've been a fan of me this whole time <laughs> even though i'm dead like something like that yeah. i'm like yeah yeah Yep. But yeah. Um have you ever seen Frankenstein? Did you ever so, or read about it or, or Oh, read I've the read book? the I've read the book, uh-huh. which is very different from any movie. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was ever made about uh-huh. it. But as a kid, I always remember I always used to think this was the Frankenstein story. <laughs> oh Cuz I had seen this one. But I had not seen any of the real Frankenstein uh-huh. ones. So the only way I knew about Frankenstein movies was uh, through this one, <laughs> tangentially to it. So There were some similarities. Mm-hmm. You know, his fiancée was named Elizabeth in this movie. But in Frankenstein, the monster kills Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. That's why I thought she was dead when he was running through that graveyard. Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought it was funny when when uh, uh, Frederick inherited that castle or whatever. Mm-hmm. He had that book. It was like, oh, here's your grandfather's book on everything about the monster. And it was like, how yep, I did how it. How I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. Some of the choices, like why was this movie in black and white? Yeah. In 1974 when it was made. It could have uh-huh. been in color. Yeah. But I think he did it in black and white to flash back to the Frankenstein yeah. original movie. It, like like the, the that old old kind of film set. set. And yeah. Everything. yeah. And I think it could be wrong, but I think I had read somewhere that they actually used the yeah. same equipment it was. in this movie yep. from Frankenstein. So mm-hmm. that, that kind of made sense. Yep. Um, but I wouldn't... This is not my favorite Mel Brooks movie. 
I do like it when his humor is mo- much more over the top. Uh-huh. Um, Mel Brooks's humor for me is all about beating a dead horse. Okay. Um, and in this movie, it's kind of funny because the way that he beats a dead horse is actually by using horses. Yeah. When Whenever he... Flau- Frau Blucher <laughs> yeah. name is mentioned, the I mean, horses I noticed, <laughs> jump. Yeah, I noticed that the horses jumped every time. Was it something with her name or was it just... Just the... She's every time terrifying okay kind of you know so that was his version of beating a dead horse or something mm-hmm. yeah kind of, okay no huh so i like that about him um my favorite mel brooks movie is robin hood men in tights just oh because. yeah